Hello and welcome to Garage Guru TV. Today we're going to be working on our 2011 Camaro Supersport project vehicle by adding a carbon fiber spoiler from Anderson Composites. Anderson Composites is a carbon fiber manufacturer from Southern California that makes carbon fiber accessories such as spoilers, fenders, and front splitters for many domestic trucks and muscle cars. Let's take a closer look at this spoiler. This Type OE carbon fiber spoiler from Anderson Composites is a direct bolt-on for our 2011 Camaro SS. The craftsmanship on this piece is impeccable. The precision and attention to detail Anderson Composites uses to make its products is a science of its own. Their craftsmanship is simply unmatched. Perhaps one of the nicest parts about this particular Anderson Composites spoiler is that it is a complete bolt-on for most 5th gen Camaros. All you have to do is bolt off your other spoiler and bolt on the nice carbon fiber one. First we're going to use an interior trim tool to take off grommets that cover up the factory mounting holes. Just get under the edge, give it a little leverage and they pop right out. Then we're going to take a 3 8 ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket on it and we're going to take off the one of four 10 millimeters. Now at the end of this bolt, there is a hole as to where the nut could fall into the actual trunk, which is not good. So we're going to use a magnet and work it out so that it doesn't fall in there and cause rattling noise that would drive us mad. No rattling noise, no angry drivers. With an interior trim tool, you will want to remove the plastic trunk latch cover. Then, with a pair of needle nose pliers, remove the four Christmas tree style fasteners from the trunk lid as to expose the next couple fasteners. With the four Christmas tree style connectors gone, we can see the two 10 millimeter bolts that are still holding the spoiler on, as well as a few electrical connections. With this trim panel wrestled out of the way, I can now gain access to the last couple bolts and clips. So I'm going to pull it out of the way, and I have my 10 millimeter socket with an extension. Get in there. I'm going to loosen it. And once again, I don't want to lose this into the trunk, so I'm going to use my magnet to get it the last bit of the way out. With the last two 10 millimeter nuts off of the factory spoiler, all you have to do next is disconnect the two electrical leads that go to the antenna and the antenna amplifier. The spoiler should then come off with a little elbow grease and make sure to route the wires through the hole in the trunk lid. When we pulled off the spoiler, there were quite a few wires going to it. We didn't have an idea what it was. Um, so we first had to take off a few of these panels. These panels required a T15 Torx bit in order to take them off. And these covered up what happened to be the antenna amplifier and the actual antenna here. So we're gonna have to transfer the amplifier, the three covers, and the antenna into the new Anderson Composites spoiler. As I mentioned before, when we removed the original spoiler from the vehicle, we noticed there were a couple of wires going to it. It turned out those were the amplifier for the antenna and the antenna itself. So we had to transfer the antenna and the amplifier onto our new carbon fiber spoiler. We had to add on these plates that come from the original spoiler in order to, co in order to cover up the amplifier. Then we had to slide out the antenna and then we slid it back into the carbon fiber one and then we just riveted back on these panels so we could drill them out later if we ever wanted to go with a different spoiler or the original spoiler. Now let's put this buddy on the car. I just added the finishing touch to our Anderson Composite spoiler. We went to our local home improvement store and got some weather seal and put it around certain edges of the spoiler in order to keep it away from certain weather conditions we don't want getting in the spoiler screwing with the antenna. So the last thing I have to do is route the wires through the trunk and then we'll bolt it on. We are almost done with the installation of our carbon fiber Anderson composite spoiler on our 2011 Camaro SS project vehicle. The last thing I have to do is connect the wires back up and bolt it back on. 
Reinstall and torque to spec the six 10 millimeter bolts onto the studs coming out of the Anderson Composites Type OE spoiler. Then reinstall the Christmas tree style fasteners onto the carpet underside of the deck lid. Now reinstall the plastic trim cover that covers the trunk latch. Then reinstall the four rubber grommets that cover up the 10 millimeter nuts and bolts. And you're done with the installation. The installation of our Anderson Composites carbon fiber spoiler on our 2011 Camaro SS went without a hitch. It was a bolt-on solution, but we just had to move over the antenna and a little bit of wiring from our new wall decoration, the old spoiler. If you want to see what Anderson Composites makes for your vehicle, such as any Challenger, Charger, Camaro, Corvette, Mustang, or Raptor truck, check out AndersonComposites.com. Thank you for tuning in to Garage Guru TV. I'll see you around.